back for another Tackle Talk. Um, this is take number two because clearly I can't speak after teaching all day and, and educating tomorrow's youth. So um, anyway, um, it'll be a miracle this evening as I give this talk if we don't have another cat jump on, um, jump on the table here, but we'll see what happens. Don't count it out. We, we adopted a rambunctious new one at Callie's uh, behest and urgings, so yeah, I'm sure he will make an appearance at some point. But anyway, I've got a lot of baits that I'm excited about throwing this year, um, and I've got quite a few that I need to go over, but at uh, without trying to make a 20 minute video, I figured it would be best to split them into two categories like bucktails and everything else, unless everything else turns into like way more than it needs to be. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with uh, uh, a kid named Christian messaged me, the uh, I think it was last week, and asked if, if he could send me a bucktail, and I'm like, sure. Uh, I'm not going to turn down a free bucktail. I don't turn down free musky lures. Uh, it's pretty cool that he reached out to me. He runs Hooked on Musky Baits out of Spooner, Wisconsin, um, and you know me spending a lot of time in the Hayward area, love to, to rep and support someone from that area who's trying to get into the musky game as much as I can. Not that I'm really in the musky game but anyway he offered to send me a free bucktail for me to check out i thought sure that would be great um i know that you can find his bucktails if you're interested in picking a few up on the musky shop um i know that if you look uh hooked on musky baits you can look those up on the musky shop because that was where i looked to pick out the color uh that he sent me anyway uh the the color i picked out was just a black on black black on black seems to work pretty much everywhere and you can't beat a double eight early in the season or when those muskies are wanting a smaller profile. I should probably make a better effort to like showcase it, but pretty, pretty standard two double eight Colorado blades. And then uh, I'm guessing it's probably a three aught Mustad hook on the back there. I'm not hundred percent sure. So don't quote me on it. I guess if you have questions, just shoot him a message on Facebook. It's really easy to reach out to him and he's pretty responsive. So first one up hooked on musky baits, just standard double eight. Really excited to throw it, especially early in the season. We'll see how it goes. Um, let's see, next we got here. Um, you guys may have seen this in one of my other videos as I kind of quickly went over it, but this is a uh, this is a musky metal pusher model. So you can see the, the pusher thing that, that puts off kind of a jet stream behind the bait and that immediately caught my attention. One of my buddies was fortunate enough to uh, test these as a prototype and said they're very effective. Um, I have lakes around here where the muskies eat a ton of crappies and even up north I know that they eat a ton of crappies when I'm able to spend time there. Something super unique. Uh, the musky metal they're run on just like a, a wire. I wouldn't be able to tell you what gauge it is but it's just a it's a pretty standard like cable wire that is used um, so then that way the bait doesn't ever bend. It twists up you know you get <laughs> you get more uh, life out of the bucktail, which I'm all about being cost effective. And Chad's super cool. He lets you pick out your colors. Again, not a paid promotion on any of these, but uh, if it trips your trigger, don't be afraid to reach out to him. He is super easy to work with, super responsive again with messaging. And then like you can kind of pick your own colors. If you have something that um, like a, a forage species in your lake that you really want to try and emulate, He's really good at, at replicating those patterns. So, uh, like I said, I, I know that they eat a lot of crappies where I'm at, so I wanted I wanted a, a crappie bucktail. This happens to be, I think, an over-under model. I think this is the, it's either the 9.8 or the, the 9.10. I think this is the 9.10 one, but I've got two, um, and I'm excited to throw these, especially once uh, I know that they're kind of eating crappies. Maybe even like later in the season too, later, um, you know, kind of in the middle of the fall there where this past fall, they're really chowing on those schooling crappies. Anyway, super cool, super excited to throw at the pusher model. I'm, I'm pumped, I'm pumped about really anything different. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, okay, so on to, again, uh, it's gonna sound like I'm doing a paid promotion, I'm not, but um, another, another company that I'm really, I really like their stuff. You guys saw me talk about the SRJ and um, my top baits video. This is uh, Pandemonium Tackle's iteration of a bucktail. Obviously you got uh, some of the floof there rather than just complete tinsel. Now I did have these last year, so I can't like say officially that this is like the first time I've thrown them. And I, I did throw them a fair amount last year. Um, 
I just didn't get get a chance to to throw them and work them as much as I would have liked to. I think um, I think they would have done really well in Wisconsin, and I'm really sad that I didn't have them up there this summer. I mean, I did fine on other bucktails and stuff, but uh, like this walleye color, for example, would just be absolute money up there. And uh, yeah, it, it's just it's really cool. It's it's on their Roswell leader material, so again, you can bend it every which way, and and the fish, you know, they don't. Yeah, they don't bend it up. You get more life out of them. These bucktails are a little bit more expensive out of the box. I, I don't remember if it was like $30 or $35 a pop, but like, I mean, you, they're going to be virtually indestructible. I, I didn't run a Roswell leader all year, but I ran, I think I switched out my leader like once and that was only after it got super kinked up after quite a few fish. So this uh, leader material, I don't know what the heck he does to make these leaders so like the, this Roswell material, but it works. It's awesome. Um, and it is very, very durable. So I'm very excited to throw this this year. Um, I'm going to move on to the next one. Uh, they run great too, by the way, easy, easy start, easy go just from the little that I was able to throw them. So, uh, yeah, moving on, let's, uh, let's hit another pandemonium bait quick while, while we're at it. Um, I think this is just his single, I want to say single seven fluted. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't remember what I bought because, uh, yeah, Jeff and Team Rhino Outdoors get a fair amount of my paycheck every month, it seems like. Um, so, yeah, I think this is the seven. Don't quote me on it. If, if I'm wrong, you can respond in the comments. But uh, just a small single tail uh, or small single bladed bucktail. I bought it specifically uh, for the early spring months, mostly because of just again it's kind of a crappie pattern like the crappie pattern i know they eat a lot of crappies where i'm at especially early in the spring and it's just kind of a really good standard bait fish pattern um so again i'm just like pumped to throw this in the early spring roswell material doesn't yeah it's gonna be virtually indestructible um again a little more expensive you get what you pay for it's pretty much how it works in musky fishing and everything else so uh, pay a little extra and, and invest in your baits and invest in your time on the water uh, because at the end of the day that time on the water and that hook that connection to you and everything is just that's either a fish in the bag or potentially a not so fun drive home anyway not to get too much on a diatribe pandemonium tackle I don't remember if this is this yeah I think this might just be the it's a Marvin something I don't remember should have looked it up I think it's just a Marvin single seven, but uh, super, super excited for this in the spring. Okay, moving on. Um, if you're a musky fisherman, I'm guessing that you have seen this advertisement come up on your YouTube about 30 million times this winter, which is fine. It's come up on mine and it's one of the most unreal, relentless uh, both side strikes I think I've ever seen captured on film from a high angle and that's on uh the uh ic9 the the musky frenzy ic9 stagger blade i mean these things are awesome they got the the dual clevis deal um i had really good luck on this guy's little brother uh the the frenzy the eight uh, i don't remember what it was the eight nine stagger frenzy stagger and it put fish in the bag and it was a great bucktail and uh, yeah, they eat it and they eat it well. I got a hybrid, uh, I got a tiger muskie on the uh, the muskie frenzy stagger this summer, which was pretty cool. It was really cool to get another one of those. Anyway, uh, the IC9, I don't really have a lot to say about it other than it looks awesome to throw and I cannot wait to throw it uh, when the time is right. Uh, just because I haven't really thrown it yet, it's brand new this year. So it looks like it should work really, really good based on everything I've heard about it and everything I've seen about it. So uh, yeah, I am really pumped to throw this guy. Hopefully the, the camera is kind of catching the bucktails. I suppose I could show it a little bit better, but um, again, all this stuff is, again, I'm not sponsored or anything. It's available on TRO or uh, you can get it on Musky Frenzy's website or whatever. I, I mean, Google is a thing you can, I'm, I'm sure you guys are all competent in using technology anyway. Moving on, uh, this is uh, probably the lure that I am most excited about as far as bucktails go uh, this this coming year. Had a lot of success on big bucktails this year, especially later in the summer, later 
in the season. Um, and it seemed that I could maybe pull out a bite or pull out a follow when nothing else wanted to when it came to big bucktail. So I am really pumped to try out the uh, Musky Mayhem. Yeah, Musky Mayhem Detonator. Sorry, I get uh, Musky Mayhem and all the different musky names confused from time to time. Anyway, Musky Mayhem Detonator, don't want to mess up the name. This thing looks like it will be a an absolute fish catching machine. Um, you know, you got the 13 blade and the super heavy 10 and you got the clevis that squeaks and I could not be more excited to throw this lure uh, this, this winter, or excuse me, this well, I guess I probably won't pull it out till the summer unless I go with Brad Hoppy's kind of strategy of going big real early. But this thing looks like a fish catching machine. I had a lot of good luck on the big blades, like I said, this year, and I seriously cannot wait to throw this thing. Uh, it is going to be deadly on some of those big fish spots where I know a big girl is always hanging out, whether it's, you know, sometime in the spring, summer, or fall. So... Looking forward to throwing all those. Um, if you stuck with me through the whole thing, I appreciate it. Appreciate your support. I don't. I mean, I, I, uh, I don't really have any deals or partnerships with these bait companies. This is just stuff that I'm like really pumped to throw. Obviously, pumped about the seasons right around the corner. It's been in the 40s most of this week after the uh, the polar vortex that occurred about two weeks ago. So. The 40s have been really nice. Uh, probably get out on the ice a few more times yet this year, but I'm chomping at the bit for some musky fishing. Not gonna lie. And as anyone who's watching this who's also a musky fisherman, I'm sure you feel the same way. So if you like the, ta the Tackle Talks, please feel free to let me know. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking with me through the whole thing if you have. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message anytime. Uh, shoot me a comment or whatever. I'll try and do my best to answer them. I'm not an expert, but I know a thing or two from spending a lot of time on the water. And if you guys need any help, please feel free to reach out at any time. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. And if you'd like, please subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.